Oh no. My friends, once again, Apple is <laughs> I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true. I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Of course, the show that gives you all is tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Saturday. It is that day. And I am once again asking for your support in news of the tech variety. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. I am, I am upset. Okay? Very a lot that upset. So buckle up. I hope you're hungry because I'm going to serve you up a big old bowl of upsetty spaghetti. So what happened was 9to5Mac put out a new exclusive basically single-handedly sitting me down and pooping directly into my mouth and into my feelings. Apple currently has no plans to release a new larger screen iMac. Translation? No iMac Pro. Okay, all right. Uh, uh. What's the number for that hotline again? Speaking with sources, 9to5Mac claims that as things stand right now, Apple has no plans for a larger screen iMac. The current 24 inch one? Yep, that's it. You know, can I say something quickly? And just, uh, of course, nothing against 9to5Mac and the crew over there. Uh, everybody's great, everybody's wonderful. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a crock of sh Respectfully. Yeah, no, this one makes all of zero sense. For Apple to just abandon that market entirely and leave iMac users with just one side, this is this is pretty much the desktop Mac. Yes, now we have Mac Studio, and of course we have Mac Mini, and even Mac Pro, but iMac is like the mainstream Mac desktop. This is the Mac for everybody. And there's like a way to back up what 9to5Mac is claiming here. People are showing and sharing this clip from the event earlier this week. Making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. Yes, at the event, they claimed that there was only one more Mac to go, the Mac Pro. But in context, Apple was saying that there is one more lineup that needs updated with Apple Silicon, and that is Mac Pro. That's the only machine that still ships with Intel as the only option. iMac as a lineup has already been updated with Apple Silicon, which yes, that would include a larger iMac in the future. That counts as iMac. On top of that, Mark Gurman and Kuoming Chi have both already signed a larger iMac Pro coming next year. And that's on top of the fact that Apple ditching this segment of the lineup makes no sense whatsoever. So nope, uh-uh, no, I refuse. 9to5Mac, no, I do not believe. I am not going to play your reindeer games. Here's the thing, the post office is cool, but people, People are sticky. That's why I use Stamps.com for shipping literally anything. Stamps.com gives you access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services right from your own computer. It saves you a trip, it saves you time, and it saves you money. We're talking like 40% off typical USPS rates and 76% off UPS rates. That's a lot of percent off. Whether you're in an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and a standard printer. No special supplies or equipment. Stop over paying and stop leaving your house. Sign up today at stamps.com slash FPT and get a four week trial, free postage, and a free digital scale. Yes, th this is the free one from stamps. It's just a free scale. They just send it. Again, just go to stamps.com slash FPT. And of course, a huge thanks to Stamps for sponsoring this episode. Okay, welcome back. So last up for the day, story numero lasto. Uh, this one is kind of about Apple. But no, but no, not about Apple. I mean, it's it's totally about Apple, but it's not. You guys know the M1 chips, the Apple Silicon, anyone familiar? M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, M1 Big Max. Yeah, well, Intel? 
Intel no likey. You may have seen their anti-M1 ads with classics such as that guy who used to represent the Mac in Apple commercials. Yeah, we pay him a lot of money to say things about us now. And according to Intel themselves, according to commercials that Intel put out into the world, why is an Intel machine better than a Mac? Well, cause in Intel machines could do this. And this, ooh, ah. Look, it folds up, it folds up real nice. So you can throw it in the trash can. Anyway, a new Intel leak, and by new leak, I mean it actually came out a while ago. It came out weeks ago, uh, and I was gonna talk about it then, but then a bunch of other news stories popped up that seemed more important, and then an Apple event happened, and that's definitely more important. So I put it on a little piece of paper, folded it up, put it in my pocket, saved it for later to bring it up. It's now later, and this is, <laughs> This is me bringing it up. Anyway, here I go. The leak suggests that Intel has been working on and developing a new line of CPUs that are built to outperform Apple's 14-inch MacBook Pro specifically that features the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. This, this is good. This is why competition is good. For far too long, Intel has sat on their laurels. Is that a... Do people say that? Or did I just say nonsense? Any whore, uh, for far too long, Intel has just existed. They've basically just been on autopilot. It is about time that they were pushed out of their comfort zone and aimed to make something awesome, is what I would say if that was what was actually happening. What's actually going on is Intel is developing chips that outperform the current M1 Pro and M1 Max chips but uh, the roadmap does not have these new Intel chips releasing until two years from now. Bruh. Bruh. You are, you're kidding, right? You have to be kidding. They are working on 2024 chips that will outperform Apple Silicon that came out in 2021? Are we for real right now? Okay, so who's going to tell them? Are you going to tell them or should I? Okay, Intel, buddy... <laughs> You do realize that by the time you put these new chips out, Apple will have already, Apple did already, like just the, earlier this week, they put the, okay, you know what, never mind. Good, good luck. <laughs>